enough of that silliness. Uh, this is Frank with Electric Wheelchair Parts. Uh, thanks for showing up. Uh, today is a uh, short thing about uh, the Dynamic Shark joystick uh, and some of its uh, common problems. Uh, I've probably done one of these before, but maybe it was mixed in with uh, a couple other joysticks and it wasn't just about the shark. Well, anyway, I already have this one. This is how it looks. Uh, it, this looks a lot like the uh, SPJ Plus that Invacare puts out, Invacare puts out, and but it's different and uh, and it's not compatible with uh, Invacare. So uh, this is not the same. All it looks exactly the same as an SPJ Plus joystick. They don't work the same, so don't don't uh, confuse them. Anyway, this one uh, had already set up on. Uh, it's locked. It's in lock mode. Um, so if you see anything that looks like this, when you turn yours on, if yours does that, then you accidentally locked it. Okay? And it probably just shut itself off. So this is how you unlock it in case you accidentally lock it. And I'll tell you how you accidentally locked it right after I show you how to shut it off or turn the lock mode off. All right, so let's turn it on again. This is how you do it. You turn it on. Within two seconds, you hit the horn button twice. Doo -doo, and then that should unlock it. So let's see if that works. Okay. One, two. Did that work? Let's hope. Yep, that worked. It's... uh. And it's all ready to go now, so this is, we can slow our speed down, or speed it up, and you're ready to go. All right, so let's turn it off. And uh, so, all right, so you accidentally locked it so you don't accidentally do that again. This is how you accidentally did that, okay? At some point, you had it on, and you I guess you're probably going to turn it off and you went to turn it off and you just held the button a little too long four seconds is what it takes Did you hear that okay so it's it's all it should be off now and uh, when I turn it back on it should be in lock mode so uh, you just held the button the off button too long and it turned it it locked it down so hopefully now what we see is the yep that okay so I'm just gonna turn it off again and turn it back on and hit the on button twice. Uh, I mean, excuse me, the horn button twice. And we should be good to go. And we're good to go. All right, so that's that. And um, so that doesn't, that's just one thing. It's not that common. It's common enough to where you're looking for it here. Uh, another thing would be a fault. Excuse me for a second. This is going to leave us with a five fault all right so if if you turn your uh, joystick on and it's not doing anything but you get a little wrench down here it's flashing what you do is you count the amount of times that that wrench is flashing and that is your error code and down below uh, I'm gonna have a link to the error codes for this particular joystick so just follow the link it'll take you there uh, however many flashes, uh, that's what you should be looking at. That should be what you direct your efforts at first. Sometimes the flashes don't matter. The joystick's just messed up. I, I can tell you this one's messed up, um, and it's not faulting out. It just doesn't work right. So, but it's it's good enough for demonstration purposes, and it's and it's a pretty good um, example of how uh, you can have a joystick. Uh, that looks like, I mean, it looks like it it works perfectly, but it doesn't. It doesn't work that good. It doesn't work at all. It doesn't make the motors go, so it doesn't work really well. But anyway, uh, so this is what you should be looking for. We're turning it on, and right here, see there, the wrench. This wrench is blinking five times. That indicates a uh, brake fault, having a brake fault. So I forget which it is, left or right, probably... I'm not gonna guess, but it's a brake fault, and and uh, so it's it's uh, flashing five times. So you count the number of flashes that you're getting. Follow the link down below, and it should uh, 
give you a starting point of what to start to look at for what's going on with your machine. Um, that's really about it for the uh, Shark joystick. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, please give me a call. It's 800-717-1252. It's also below. And uh, also, uh, you know, after going to the error page, just go to the menu down below. You can go to the main page. You decide that you would like to call us, you know, or uh, send it in for repair. Uh, you can do that, and uh, that's pretty much it. So thank you for taking the time and watching this, and uh, thank you.